This morning on the internet I fell down a rabbit hole. Or some might say, a fly hole. I found a misprint of Spore Cloud on eBay for 3,000 English pounds. I didn't understand why anyone would pay 3,000 pounds for a Spore Cloud, even if it's graded 9 for Fallen Empires. Why was it worth so much? And then I saw it. The fly misprint. It looks like some sort of insect, perhaps a fly, has gone into the printing press during the production of this card. And this is the result. In my surprise, I took it to Twitter to ask if anyone else had heard of this stuff before. There is reports of multiple of these in the past, up to four of them. Four being a suspicious number if you ask me. Twitter user Thalia the Gay said that someone should tag the guy that collects cards with bugs in them. At first I thought that it was perhaps bugs trapped inside little cards. Like the, the bug was alive and the card was a prison cell. But soon they directed me to the Reddit user Scary Dairy. The plot thickens. Scary Dairy has a collection of cards with insect misprints on them where bugs of some description usually flies. Although this is a, this is a fucking big fly if you're- Whoa! Jesus! And these insects are in the print. They're there. Stuck forever thanks to the pressing of a machine pushing insect to card. Immortalized. Entombed. Or at least the outline of them is. I started asking questions like, who's putting the flies in the machine? Why is there a fly in the ointment? I met a guy who works on the YouTube channel The Stack and his name was Guy, but they don't have a girl called Girl. Who is Reddit user scary underscore dairy? Why is Thalia gay? What was Luca's story motivations in Ikoria? I literally have no idea. I, I can't remember a Koya story for shit. How did this get onto a card like Coveted Prize? Am I overreacting? And then I landed on the real question. Who benefits? I reached out to Gavin Verhey of Wizards of the Coast approximately 12 minutes before turning my camera on, and he didn't respond. Coincidence? I reached out to Mark Rosewater next, so I realised I probably should try and put some weight behind this... whatever this is. Again, no response within the first 10 minutes. Convenient. I didn't actually reach out to Blake Rasmussen, but he didn't respond either. What is going on? Who is putting the flies in the machine? But more importantly, who benefits? But then it occurred to me, perhaps it's just an accident. Perhaps innocent insects are just landing on the printing press and getting rolled into oblivion by the, the mechanized boot of capitalism. Thanks, wizards. But then I thought, that's convenient that insects just happen to live in the area printing cards. Who benefits? Then again, it could just be an accident. Flies do exist throughout the United States, the Netherlands, and Japan, where they, where they print these things. Yes, flies are pretty widespread. But that wouldn't make a very good YouTube video, would it?